Fainting, also known as syncope, is a brief loss of consciousness. This decrease in blood flow to the brain can be caused by various factors, including infections, inadequacies, and traumas. Scope Care was founded to assist carers, family, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. Fainting, also known as syncope, is a momentary loss of consciousness and posture caused by the reduced blood supply to the brain. A variety of situations can cause fainting. Examples are heart disorders such as irregular heartbeats, seizures, low blood pressure, anemia, and how the nervous system regulates blood pressure. In addition, some types of fainting appear to be hereditary. While fainting can signal a medical issue, it can also occur in apparently healthy people. Fainting is especially dangerous for the elderly, who might sustain catastrophic injuries from falls when they faint. Most episodes are only a few minutes long. In most circumstances, the person who has fainted regains full consciousness within a few minutes. Fainting is a widespread condition, accounting for 3% of all emergency room visits and 6% of hospital admissions. It is possible in otherwise healthy people. A person may experience dizziness, lightheadedness, or loss of consciousness. How fainting looks. In cartoons, fainting is always depicted as falling over stiff as a board and landing flat on your face or back. A typical melodramatic faint is characterized by a gasp, a hand to the brow, and collapsing into the arms of the nearest male heartthrob. However, fainting can be subtle or violent in real life. When the brain does not receive enough blood flow to wake, it stops transmitting signals to the muscle cells. As a result, the muscles lose tone and the body collapses into whatever heap gravity pulls it into. Occasionally, the abrupt evacuation of blood from the brain causes a little nerve impulse, similar to static over a phone line. It may cause a slight trembling or shaking. It appears to be a shudder at times and a seizure at others. Have you ever experienced an involuntary jerk in your arms or legs right before falling asleep? This is known as myoclonic contraction, and it is the same type of twitch that some fainting patients display. But a myoclonic contraction is not a seizure. Simple seizures can result in a loss of consciousness. Causes of fainting. The vagus nerve is the most common cause of fainting. It connects the digestive system to the brain and regulates blood flow to the gut. When food enters the system, the vagus nerve pulls blood from various body tissues, including the brain, and directs it to the stomach and intestines. Unfortunately, the vagus nerve can get too stimulated and draw excessive blood from the brain. Some things, such as bending down to have a bowel movement or vomiting, work harder. Medical conditions that lower blood pressure intensifies the vagus nerve's effects, including severe pain from menstrual cramps, among the other causes which are physical occurrences. Fainting is frequently caused by overheating or being in a crowded, poorly ventilated environment. Standing for an extended period or getting up too quickly after sitting down or sleeping can lead someone to faint. Hyperventilation. A hyperventilating person takes rapid breaths. As a result, the level of carbon dioxide in the blood decreases, forcing blood vessels to constrict. As a result, the blood supply to the brain is reduced, causing a person to faint. Dehydration. Blood pressure is reduced where there is little water in the bloodstream, and stimulating the vagus nerve when the system is already depleted might cause dizziness and fainting. Dehydration can be caused by various factors, including vomiting or diarrhea, heat exhaustion, burns, and others. Vomiting and diarrhea in particular stimulate the vagus nerve. Shock. A malfunction of the vagus nerve causes not every loss of consciousness. Shock is a disorder marked by low blood pressure which frequently results in loss of consciousness. We are all too aware of long-term repercussions of high blood pressure, but very low blood pressure is far more harmful in the short term. Shock is a potentially fatal condition caused by bleeding, but a severe allergy or illness can also cause it. People who are under shock are prone to get confused, then lose consciousness as their condition worsens. 
can all happen very quickly. And while it isn't quite fainting, we won't know unless the patient wakes up. Taking a wait and see approach could be risky. Alcohol or drugs. Many people lose consciousness as a result of alcohol usage, yet we don't call it fainting. Aside from the apparent sedative impact, alcohol causes you to pee, which eventually leads to dehydration. It also dilates blood arteries, lowering blood pressure. Loss of consciousness due to alcohol, like shock, is not officially termed fainting, but it may or may not cause alarm. Alcohol poisoning can be fatal, and passing out is an indication of severe drunkenness. Irregular heartbeat. It takes a specific level of blood pressure to keep the blood flowing to and from the heart. Maintaining sufficient blood pressure necessitates a properly functioning heart. If the heart beats too quickly or too slowly, it cannot keep the blood pressure as high as it should. Blood drains from the brain, resulting in fainting. The heart muscle can become too weak to sustain blood pressure during a heart attack. Take a pulse to see if the heart is to blame. If it's too fast or too sluggish, the fainting spell was likely triggered by the heart. Also, if the patient complains of chest discomfort or other signs of a heart attack, you can infer that the heart is too weak to maintain blood flowing to the brain. Less common causes. Do you become dizzy when you see blood? Anxiety, panic disorder, and stress can all stimulate the vagus nerve and cause a loss of consciousness in some persons. The vagus nerve stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, slowing the heart rate and lowering blood pressure. Some persons are hypersensitive to the vagus nerve and stimulation might cause them to lose consciousness. Symptoms of fainting. People who are prone to syncope usually start fainting around the age of 13. The person will feel flushed, heated, or hot, followed by sudden weakness and a loss of consciousness. They'll become limp and frequently break out in a cold sweat. People who are standing will collapse to the ground if they faint or pass out. One cause of fainting spells is vagus nerve stimulation, which causes the heart to slow and blood pressure to drop dramatically. When the person loses consciousness, the patient's heart begins to beat faster to compensate for the low blood pressure. How to avoid fainting. Suppose you have a history of fainting. Attempt to figure out what causes you to pass out so you can avoid those triggers in the future. Always carefully rise from a seated or lying down position. Inform your doctor if you get dizziness at the sight of blood when having your blood drawn or during other medical procedures. They can take precautions to keep you from fainting. Finally, do not skip meals. Lightheadedness, weakness, and the sense of spinning are all warning indicators of fainting. If you experience any of these symptoms, sit and place your head between your knees to increase blood flow to your brain. You could also lie down to avoid getting hurt if you fall. Don't get up until you're feeling better. What to do if someone passes out? Fainting is not a life-threatening condition in and of itself. However, abrupt cardiac arrest resembles fainting and necessitates quick treatment. When someone faints, make sure the patient is lying flat and comfortable. Elevating the legs can assist blood flow return to the brain, but it's not always necessary and there's considerable controversy about whether it's beneficial. Following that, treatment is determined by the cause of the fainting. If this is the first time this individual has fainted or if you are unsure, dial 911. Some severe conditions can cause fainting and should be investigated by medical professionals to decide the best course of action. If the person has a history of fainting, keep an eye on their breathing and give them a few minutes to wake up. Call 911 if the victim does not wake up, within three minutes of lying flat. Treatment of the cause of the syncope is more important than quick treatment. Often the only method to determine the cause is to examine the patient's chronic medical issues, if any, and recent activities or illnesses. Passing out is without question a terrifying experience. In prevention, knowledge is half the battle. Patients who have multiple fainting spells should see a doctor to discover the causes of the fainting. Patients will frequently learn the warning signs and symptoms of fainting and how to avoid them. Scope care is a secure and healing environment for patients and carers, seeking to make every part relatable and motivating, from new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through the green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.